Hey guys, uh, my name is Max and today we're going to be tying uh, the electric caddis larva. Um, it's a cool little pattern, um, you know, involves a little bit more uh, difficulty uh, than just using the standard micro tubing, which is, uh, you know, a way to do it as well. Um, so you actually take some uh, small chartreuse ultra wire and you thread it into the micro tubing. Um, and that kind of gives it a little more, uh, you know, vibrant uh, green color and adds a little more definition in the ribbing. Um, so it's kind of a pain to thread that in there, but once you do it, um, it kind of turns out pretty good. Uh, so start off with some uh, chartreuse, fluorescent chartreuse ultra thread in the 70. And in the vise, I got a 2488H in a size 16 and uh, get her going. Start my thread wraps way behind the eye just to make sure I don't build up too much bulk. Couple wraps, snip out my thread and make sure my thread stays flat so I get some nice coverage and uh, that green color really takes over the, the shank of the hook here. So I'm gonna go a little bit past the barb and work my way back up to the top. I do this just so it gets a little more color in there. You know, if you only do one one coat with the thread, uh, it's not, not all that um, thick of color. So, so the next step would be adding uh, the wire in there. So I already have one prepped here. Um, it can be a kind of a pain because it is a small opening with some small wire. Uh, tips would be to make sure that um, you kind of like straighten out your tubing a little bit. And then also make sure your wire is super straight and doesn't have any kinks in it. Um, and then once you get it on there, you know, just slide and push. Um, that that uh, tubing down as, as far as you can. Uh, you know, once you get a little bit longer than a couple inches, it gets a little bit tougher. So you can start kind of twisting the wire or the, uh, the tubing um, and just go slow and you should be able to get it to slide all the way on there. So I leave a little bit of my wire exposed so I can tie that straight down first. I'll do that right where my thread is and make sure I grab my tubing and then I'll kind of keep it tight and work my way all the way down to where I ended my thread, the shank of the hook. And that just makes a nice even body. Uh, I can add a little bit of a taper, build up a little more bulk towards the top. So once I got that tied in, I can start making my wraps with my tubing and just nice tight wraps up against one another. Good little caddis pattern, um, you know, some off color water early season when a runoff is happening, uh, it can be super effective. Got those caddis coming off and, you know, kind of off color water. I'll capture my thread, capture the tubing with my thread there. And then I'm gonna snip out the tubing and wire. One more wrap and I'll do a quick whip finish. So I'm gonna switch threads here and we're gonna go to just the black. And, uh, looking pretty good. So you can really see the wire kind of shine through there. Uh, gives it a little more color, um, a little more definition in the ribbing. So now I'm gonna take some Ultra thread, 70 in the black, and start it on there. Work all the way up against 
my tubing, snip out my tag. I'm gonna take a piece of uh, ostrich pearl in black, Got a couple here, and I'm kind of looking for ones that don't have any kinks in them. Um, so this one I grab here, got a little kink in the end. Uh, so I'll probably start it right there and also the integrity of the fiber down towards the butt end here is going to be a little bit uh, easier to work with and you know, if you pull too hard with ostrich you break break it so start that in and i'll snip out the tag Bring my thread all the way up to behind the eye. And I'm just gonna try to get as many wraps as I can in here. Uh, this is obviously the legs um, and the head portion of the fly. So try and get as many wraps in here as I can. When I tie this uh, ostrich in, I wanna try and make sure that uh, the, the V is going away from me. So when I start wrapping, it'll kind of start laying the fibers back and I can make each wrap going forward without capturing a bunch of them. Uh, but I'm trying to lay them very tight against each other. Not pulling too hard so I don't break my feather, my hurl. So I'm probably gonna double up and go back down. Capture it right behind the eye there. A couple of securing wraps in front and behind. And then I'm gonna snip out my tag. Leftovers. So, I mean, you can fish it just like that. You know, it looks really good. But I'm gonna pull all those fibers back. Make a couple wraps so I'm not crowding the eye with the ostrich. And then I'll do a quick whip finish. Snip out my thread. And now I'm gonna go with a little Loon UV in black. And I'm gonna kind of split those on the top and just make a nice hard, uh, you know, poly back here. So to make sure that you don't capture any, take two fingers, kind of hold those down so I've got no fibers on top. And then I'll apply my UV. with the light real quick and we'll go back in for one more coat uh, the colored UV is uh, fairly thin so I like to do two coats with it same thing kind of tease those fibers down and a little more UV on the top here that up and there you have it electric caddis